Hi, I'm Denise Thomas, and I'm a psychotherapist at the Brown Cancer Center, UofL Health. When I was in college, um, I had an aunt who was diagnosed with cancer, and on the weekends, I would go and visit with her and give her support um, at her home. My aunt um, would talk about dealing with issues such as uh, feeling isolated from her community, um, having concern about her, her well-being and thinking about her future. And I noticed that um, just being there with her, um, I may not have had the perfect answers to help her resolve uh, what she was going through, but um, just being there with her and giving her good support um, seemed to help lift her spirits. Uh, and that was important to me. Um, so I noticed that and, and I, I uh, liked the good feelings that came with being a person um, who could provide support in that way and it eventually developed into a career for me. I am with the Behavioral Oncology Program at the Brown Cancer Center and I'm a psychotherapist who provides counseling and support to our patients as they're going through treatment and survivorship. Getting a cancer diagnosis is probably one of the most shocking things that a person can hear um, and they often need support in adjusting to that new information and accommodating that into their lives. Patients are immediately thrown into um, meeting with lots of different people, making lots of different appointments, and um, not only are they worried about their health, but they're worried about their families, they're worried about the impact on um, their social life, they're worried about the impact on their working life if they're still in that um, developmental stage of life. And sometimes they, they have questions about, am I doing this right? Am I normal? Um, and that is one role that I can help to provide to our patients is to provide them with good education about um, the experiences that um, they may be going through and whether this is something that uh, we may see um, with patients or something that they may need additional support with. It's a lot of adjustment and um, we have found that the emotional well-being of oncology patients is very important um, and directly relates to their health outcomes. Patients may come to me for counseling with a myriad of emotions. Sometimes um, they're coping with um, feelings of sadness, frustration, and anger um, at you know, learning about their diagnosis or going through medical treatments that they had never really considered would be impacting their lives directly. We know that when people are struggling, it's much more difficult to handle even basic functions of um, maintaining their schedule, their healthcare. And so the role of psycho-oncology is to provide support for the emotional well-being and psychological well-being of our patients. 